fourth year. Um, CT Improv was the first like professional comedy uh, improv comedy company here in Hartford, and we were like, hey, a lot of other cities have improv festivals. It's a really cool, fun experience, and it's a really great way to kind of get people to come to your city. And so we were like, we should have one here and call the Hartford Improv Festival after the city in which it is held. And so we um, we had sort of a committee that formed to try and sort of get the Hartford Improv Festival going, and we wanted it to be not just a CT Improv thing, but kind of an improv event in the whole state. So it's the Hartford Improv Festival hosted by CT Improv, um, and we really, really enjoy having all the teams here, and it's just a place where um, we can showcase talent and sort of bring a lot of people together so we can kind of network as a comedy company. I like seeing people of a different background than I have uh, performing improv and showing different views on life. My favorite show of the night uh, was probably the last, there was a set in the last block where it was just two dudes and they just had so much fun on stage and everybody felt it, everybody else had just as much fun as they had before. I really enjoyed that night. I just think it's a really great like uh, community of people. So you get a bunch of people that come in from you know, all these other towns, uh, you know, Boston, and then you get from like, Canada and stuff, and you get to intermingle with all of these people. So you're not just seeing all the really great acts, but you're also like meeting all these really great people, and it's it's good for all the, for artists to be able to you know make these connections and collaborate. We come to this festival to team build, and it's also to just have a great time. We have some friends here in Hartford. Hartford is a, honestly, it's not a great city. It's like, it's a, I mean, it's a great city. All the insurance companies are here. So we, uh, we just adjust our rates. And uh, it's become a tradition within the past three years. So we keep coming. And it's become sort of a bonding thing for the team. And also, uh, and, uh, great improv. Right, right, son. Who was your favorite set of the night? Man, uh, it's gonna have to be. Um, they're from North New Jersey Improv Technicians. They're probably the funnest group of people to play with. Um, fire set, fire players, uh, fire form, the Herald, but fire. Uh, improv Technician going on at 2 p.m. today. Fuego, fuego y todo. Okay, describe your favorite improv show tonight. My favorite improv show was actually probably also my least favorite improv show. It was these two guys who were like blasted off their mind on some unknown, unreleased drug. And they had like telepathy and they could like see the future. It was ridiculous because I don't even know what was happening. They didn't know what happening. No one knew what was happening, but my sides are gone. I have no sides. It was hilarious.